I'll throw it up on screen so you can see it. But underneath that, you do have a low cut, so I can turn the peak in. Okay, so it must have did something when I turned it on. I saw it peak really bad for a second, so if it is there, I'll leave that on so you can hear it. But this is what the low cut sounds like with it on. Turn it back off, and now we'll throw in the high filter bypass on. So it's, you know, this is what it sounds like. You know, just throwing it in here, I will also, at this part, make it raw from there to here or whatever. And then also you do have a mute right here. I'm turning that off and you can put mute on and now you can't back off. It does take a second to transfer, like, you know, make that change as you can see in real time as I'm doing it. It does take a split second. It's not like I'm off like that. So that's another kind of real world experience that can almost ding it in a way because like, if I'm using this in like weddings or something like that, and I need to do something right here, right now, I need to mute the mic right here, right now, because there's a feedback coming through or something like that. And I need to figure out where it's coming from. 